Hello and welcome back to Papua Memories. Uh, this is the fourth episode. My name is John Hyatt. I'm the son of Jim and Margaret Hyatt. My parents were missionaries in Papua, Indonesia from 1964 through 1973 on the south coast of the island. Previously we talked about uh, the building materials for missionary housing and uh, the sawmill that was uh, built to provide those materials. But those materials had to be transported. Um, so ironwood beams and planks were very heavy. Uh, there were other heavy things that needed to be moved. Uh, uh, fuel drums uh, for uh, fuel for outboard motors and uh, generators and so forth. Uh, sacks of rice uh, for uh, feeding uh, the students at the Bible school. Um, there was a lot of uh, things that you needed the capability to move heavy goods. Uh, well, in order to uh, provide for that, uh, the mission had a boat. Actually, it had several boats, but the boat that I was familiar with was called the Moppy. I have no idea why it was named the Moppy. That's M-A-P-P-I except that there is a district in the southern part of Papua that is called the Mopi District. That's the only thing I can come up with as a reason for why the boat was named that. It was a steel hulled, uh, what my dad called a diesel launch. Um, I don't know, maybe 50, 60 feet long. Uh, that's just a guess. Uh, it was open hull. There was no, uh, there was no deck. Uh, you were actually down in the hull of the boat and the top was open. Uh, they had a covering over the top of it that was kind of like a tent. It was uh, vertical poles and then there was a canvas roof and then there were can canvas curtains that would uh, go up and down. And uh, that was the protection that you had from the elements. But the boat was essentially open. Uh, in the middle of it, there was a large uh, diesel engine. I can't remember how many cylinders it was, like maybe two cylinders or something like that. Um, I know it went chug, chug, chug. Uh, <laughs> we had a lot of experiences on the Moppy. It was, uh, it was used fairly frequently. It was in almost, I think, uh, constant use. And um, it was a really uh, necessary part of uh, the ministry um, because it was needed uh, for support to be able to move those, uh, those heavy items. Um, we had a number of experiences uh, on that boat, um, and I'm going to have to break it up into a couple of segments. But I first want to talk about uh, the native pilot for that boat, whose name was Bayap. Uh, Bayap was uh, from the Asmat tribe. He was quite skilled at running the boat. Um, he was a good navigator from my, what I understood from my dad. And um, he had a good bit of expertise uh, in running the boat. Uh, one of the problems that we had with the Moppy is the need to secure it. Um, you know, you either had to tie it off to a, a dock or, a, you know, the bank or something, because initially the Moppy did not have an anchor. So they wanted to provide an anchor for the Moppy so that they could uh, throw the anchor out in places where it wasn't convenient to tie it off to shore or to a dock. So anchors were not readily available at that time. And my memory is dad said that the anchor had to be ordered from Holland. And it took quite a while for the anchor to arrive and it was pretty expensive. So they were really excited when we finally got 
an anchor for the Moppy. So they put the anchor in the boat and they were going to make a run with it and try out the new anchor. And there was a big coil of rope uh, sitting in the bottom of the Moppy and I guess it was tied off to, you know, uh, uh, what do you call them, a divot or whatever. But it was lying there in the boat, but nobody tied the anchor to the rope. So after uh, going down the river a ways, uh, the missionary, and I don't remember which missionary it was. It could have been my dad. It could have been Chuck Preston. Um, could have been any number of people. At any rate, the missionary who was in charge of, you know, the boat and the, and the trip, said, buy up, throw out the anchor. And buy up, looked at him like, what? Throw out the anchor. Buy up said, okay. And he picked up that very expensive anchor, which was not tied to the rope, and threw it over. One very expensive Dutch anchor went straight to the bottom of the river, never to be seen again.